Are, how, just, how, look how beautiful these guys are. Hello, Keenan. Hello, Bronte. Hello, I Shamila. Hello, Josh. Happy birthday, Josh. Wow. Are you guys Hi. all like far from each other? Yeah, I am. Uh, I wait, am. I'm in Johannesburg. Well, I'm in Cape Town. I'm in Cape Town too. Johannesburg. Okay, so you're all you're all in the same country at least. Yeah, at the very least. Yes. I'm and and when last we spoke, uh, you were at TIFF promoting the Umbrella Men, and somehow you've already got a sequel, and you're promoting that a year later. And I've done nothing this year. I feel like what what happened? How did you how did you guys already make another movie? <laughs> <laughs> we had done yeah, it's been incredible. It's been a, it was a quick turnaround, but I think that the like once the first film was in the can. Uh, the producers already kind of knew what they were onto, and they were like, "Let's let's spitball um, ideas for a sequel." And once that spitballing idea came into our heads, we were like, "We're doing a sequel," and I think it all like tumbleweeded from there. That's amazing. What was it? Uh, was it almost easier to shoot the second time? So you knew your characters, you knew the the sort of deal, you knew each other. I think character wise, we were like we were just getting to know our characters and really like sinking into it. Well, for me, at least um, by the end of the first film and by the start of the second one, I was like, I knew who I was playing, but there was a lot more like action and adventure going on. So I wouldn't say it was easier in any sense, uh, yeah. but we did. Def I definitely knew who I was by then. The work, the work. I went think this into... movie brought a whole lot of other challenges. Like we were shooting at so many different locations and I mean, we knew our characters, but the story was completely something out other than the first movie. So we had to obviously just stay in our character and and sink into the script because it was it was completely different. Oh, there was there was no coasting on this one. No, no, no. Well, we were very close. <laughs> they made us actually work, Josh. I thought uh -huh. the, I thought it was a sequel. We just Pitch up on set and smile, and they feed us and pay us. Yeah, they yeah. Made us work. That's ridiculous. You're stars now. You just shouldn't have to do any work. You should just roll you that in. That is exactly what I thought. Phone and it now in. They don't even take us to TIFF. Yeah, I know. That's a double scam. What the... <laughs> yeah, it's such a scam. <laughs> but somehow the director can go. That's a bit sketchy. Well, he can go as long as he as long as there's a third form. A third form. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, a third, third film. film. Oh, a third film. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Yeah, I got to get into my South African accent. The third film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Do you think there's going to be... You got to have a trilogy now. I mean, it just makes three. sense at this point. Like, why would you make two yeah. if you're not going to make three? It doesn't make sense to have two. No, it's absurd. That's what we're saying. And why would you make three if you're not going to make five? Yeah, well, that's the, <laughs> that's the Fast and Furious theory. Exactly. And we saw how no, good I those think we're headed there. Going. I told John, I was like, we're not, he was like, maybe we'll take a few years before we do a third. And I was like, we're not getting any younger. Like you need to get us in the sweet spot right now. So don't stop writing and we won't stop shooting. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're young and beautiful. You got to keep cranking these out for sure. Got to do it. Got to do it. And then you got to plan for like, you know, the fifth one, you jump the shark, it gets a bit goofy. But then by like seven, you sort of pick it up again. Maybe the rock joins the team. So it sort of reinvigorates the whole thing. Definitely. Yeah, but I think by number five we'll have all the like famous cameos because we'll be this like South African sensation. So it's a good plan. Yeah, yeah. All the other South African stars would be like, wait, wait, why am I not in this? Like the Expendables kind of thing. <laughs> you just gotta get line them up. Yeah, exactly. Look, you exactly. joke, but that kind of happened for the second one already, didn't it? Oh, yeah, that's yeah. true. We have so many, so many like people that we have wanted to like jump onto the ship. It was quite a. It's quite a thing. Everyone try to get into this film. I'll bet. Like, yeah, see, that's the thing. Everybody <laughs> just wants to ride the train. Oh, now you've already got it. Okay, now we want to be in it. Oh, yeah, really? Where were you before when we were, like, scrounging around? Yeah, exactly. Did you make them sweat a bit? Like, oh, you really want to be in this? Like, how, how nice are you going to be to us? Well, no, they just had to step up their game. Like, we were like, we're on a level, and um, we're bringing good vibes and good energy. And like you can't come in there and small asset, like half asset. You have to come in full fledged and you know sink into our energy. And and they they did honestly, like they, I feel like they really did. That's awesome. Are you guys like 
bigger stars now, like walking around Joburg and uh, Cape Town, like people recognize you? It's still the same. Everyone's like, oh, oh like my friends always be like, oh, this is my famous friend Shamila. And I'm like, I'm mildly recognizable. Hang on. That's pretty cool. <laughs> my, mildly recognizable is, is still still good. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, it's interesting because it the it never got a cinema run here um, uh, in South Africa. So I don't know. I think there's there's still quite a big audience for the first film. Uh, I'm excited to see if maybe we can get uh, the, the the second one out to more people. You know, you you kind of you do want to make work because you want audiences to see it. Uh, yeah, yeah. I feel like we are scratching the surface. I think. Okay. That's, yeah. So maybe now people go wait. There's a sequel. Like. People are going to go back and rediscover the first one. And go wait, what, what is this that's so good that they got to make another one? And then it becomes all rediscovered and everything. That's exciting. Yeah. Totally, totally exciting. It's going to be cool. It looks like Keenan's getting like we got a fancy scarf and everything on. Is he getting like a bit of a swelled head from the whole thing? Yeah, yeah, you know <laughs> how actors be. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, you're actually wearing our on. uniform. I mean. Some um, of our costumes. Sure you can see. Yeah. Or did you get one of the jackets? Or is that an imp? Guys, what? things happen when you become famous. I mean, like... Wow. <laughs> this, is, this is like Tony Stark taking the Avengers sign home. It's like, sorry, it's mine now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm jealous. I'm you jealous. All it. I got is like, I got a car yeah. sticker. That's all I got. We didn't get that. <laughs> Ridiculous. Meanwhile, Keenan's selling everything on eBay. It's like, oh, who wants the yeah, car? I, I don't need merch. I've got yeah. anything you need. Just speak to me. I've got some umbrellas if you want. Oh, I've still got my umbrella. That's right. Where is it? I don't know. Ah, the, do, you, ah, do you have umbrellas this time again as merch? You were walking around Tiff with the umbrellas. We were. I, I, of course. Yeah, it's a signature. I feel like we, and it I is, have like three is. in my house. I have so many. <laughs> <laughs> That's I mean the that, there was the option of yellow jumpsuits for the for the for the sequel, but mm. yeah, yeah. Hard to those are harder because then you gotta like you know you gotta have the right size and then do I want to put this on? But everybody needs an umbrella all the time, so yeah, agreed. That's so See, cool. Josh, yeah. Josh, are you gonna miss us this year? Just am I gonna am I gonna what? Are you gonna miss us being in Toronto this year? Oh, oh, I am. Well, that's the thing. She gave me the option of like, do you want to interview? The director in person or do you want to interview the cast on zoom and i'm like i can't miss talking to these guys i'd rather do things in person but i gotta talk to these guys so uh, I, yeah i mean the annie yeah. didn't give you the option of coming to come do the interview down in johannesburg and cape town i don't That's... remember that option <laughs> i've always been, i've always been wanting Ugh. to come back i shot a visa commercial in cape town like 15 years ago or something and our little guide was like you got to come back and and I just never come back. It's a long trip. But I mean, when I flew last time, there was no Netflix and stuff. I could just watch movies now on the way and just show up and do it. Yeah. No excuses. That's fine. There you go. I've been looking for a way to get away from winter because it's gonna it's hot today here, but it's gonna get cold again soon. I'm like, I can't do this. I spent two months in Florida this winter and I'm like, maybe, maybe South Africa. Can you imagine? Wow. Africa is so beautiful. Like our seasons here are incredible. And like a lot of people flock to Cape Town over the holidays. Um, so it's just like, like buzzing, warm, beautiful city. Yeah, the guy told me, I mean, this was years ago, but he said like in Europe when it's winter, all the supermodels go down to Cape Town or like South Africa and they just hang out there all winter. So, is that true? The supermodels? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that is yeah. 100%. Like Cape Town is crawling with beautiful people. It's insane. It's all right. absolutely it's, insane. It's also because of uh, international, there's like TV commercials, uh, mm -hmm. season from September mm. to Feb and so yeah. uh, they're mostly internationals so they they come to work you know it's like a they're like the buffalo that yeah 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 it's kind of like I mean that's why we shot the I mean it was Sexy worth buffalo. it because we had a visa commercial that was like a big office we needed a lot of people in it and it was cheaper to fly to South Africa because we could just buy out the talent and then to actually shoot it in Toronto so that's why he's down there you just get a, a million people extras in your movie and you or your commercial, and you do it. Oh, my Easy. God. All right, Easy. maybe I should just be living there. I could just write scripts, and we could shoot them. And what am I doing? Yeah. I'm I'm nothing here, but I would have, like, superpowers down there. Because people are like, look, <laughs> yeah. look at the little <laughs> ugly man. Winters here are quite hectic, though. So I don't know if you'd want to stay for that. But the summers are great. 
Okay, but summer for you would be winter for me. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. So just so, get a holiday house and come for yeah, the summer. Yes. I mean, we can't guarantee that you'll have electricity. That's overrated. We can't guarantee that we'll get you data supermodels, but I mean, you can watch them from down there. That's, summer. I mean, no, that's all I want. Just be able to see them from a distance and stuff. That's, I don't have any ridiculous expectations. Listen, Josh, you've got superpowers. You can do anything, so. Yeah, yeah, I love that. <laughs> all right, we're going to make it happen. And maybe I'll make... We, I could write a movie about this Canadian guy that shows up to South Africa. Oh, here's the idea. It's a guy showing up thinking he's going to see supermodels. He shows up. There's no supermodels for him or whatever, but we've got supermodels in the in the movie. And then somehow he gets oh. caught in some like scheme or something. Or maybe like, he, he, or, no, he, he sees the umbrella man. He decides, I want to move to South Africa. That's so cool. And then it turns out he gets caught up in like a real life scheme or something. And then maybe he gets the cast of the umbrella man to help him out with it. So it's kind of like this postmodern, so you're playing yourselves. Yeah, so yeah. Oh my gosh, write the script. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're here this for is, it. Oh, this is exciting. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have, you, have you been uh, going around to like other film festivals yeah, this bye. year or like promoting things? Or is TIFF like the big one? Yeah, I think uh, TIFF is the... Yeah, TIFF is the biggest one. The first film did quite a few festivals last year. I know that we won an award at the London Film Festival. Um, and that film's been making us round, but we're but the second film is premiering on Saturday in Toronto. So we haven't even seen it yet, Josh. Oh, oh wow. That. Okay. Yeah. We haven't well, seen the film yet because it hasn't it hasn't come out here yet. So Okay, yeah, because they did they said there's an embargo. If you're gonna review it, you can't do it until after the premiere or whatever. So so yeah, nobody's you guys don't even know. I mean, this might suck. Maybe we shouldn't be promoting it. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely not gonna like, suck we, we, we've done the adr in it so we've seen enough of the film to yeah, know yeah. that it's no, right right i'm sure it's fine i'm just kidding just joke <laughs> edit that part out yeah <laughs> no so this is about to launch yeah so then when when would people where will people be able to see it after the like the world premiere i guess is it stream how does this all work um, well, John was telling me that it's going to, so either end of October, I mean, end of September or um, early October, they're going to do, they're going to do the premieres here. Um, and then I don't know if it's going to have a cinema run, but the premieres are going to happen around that time. And then it'll be on EVAD, um, the same like it was last year. And then it's going to go onto Amazon Prime as well. Oh, sweet, sweet. I've got an Amazon influencer page, so I can recommend it on there. I'll put this interview on Amazon. Oh, this is amazing. So good. Yeah, awesome. yeah. And then when I show up in South Africa, we'll just tell people I'm Jeff Bezos. I've got the look. And be like, you know yes. what? You could pull it off. No one would ask you twice. They'll be no. like, oh, hi. Why not? Of Where's course. your yacht? That's the only question you'd get. I'll be like, yeah, I'm slumming it right now. I'm just trying to live like the people. Um, but yeah, if you have any yachts I could borrow, that would be great. Yeah, <laughs> that'll be my scale. Okay, that's the movie. I show up and I decide I need to pretend I'm Jeff Bezos. So I, the whole scam is like standing near yachts, kind of like a Leonardo DiCaprio in uh, Catch Me If You Can. I keep faking things, and then it's coming yeah, together. I love yeah. it. Oh my I love it. Maybe this is the manifest. <laughs> yeah, it's just our just our Zoom call. Actually, this this will be the movie. It's just the the cast discussing right. the movie. It's like low budget. <laughs> Oh, I, I you can love... panic and send it to the producers as a pitch. As a... Yes, that's a good idea. I did on the red carpet yeah. last year. I was talking to Tyler Perry and I pitched him a, like a movie idea. He's like, maybe work on it a bit. But now, now I'm in with him. I can pitch him. Well, there you go. Amazing. Uh, yeah, just uh, between us. Tyler Perry to be your, your body double. Yes, exactly. We're basically twins. Exactly. I'll be yeah, like, stunts, you know? oh, I'll pitch <laughs> him on that. That is good. <laughs> I heard I heard through the the grapevine that they are looking for a villain for Umbrella Man Three. So, oh well, here look at this is my Doctor Evil impression. I heard that the Umbrella Men are in town. We need to destroy them with my freaking laser. Is that good? <laughs> Perfect. Oh exactly. my gosh! Who is your agent? We're Annie, we're, we're sending the tape editing. to the producers. Okay, the all right, recording. All right. yeah. I'm seen. All right, yeah, I know. I need the recording. I need a South African agent. I've been doing uh, extra work. I was in a, I played a butler in a Netflix show last week uh, called Geek Girl, some British show. I just had to walk down the hall and push a cart, but that could be my, my you know, it's my uh, my intro Netflix to the Hollywood baby. world. Love it. Love I'm, narr it. I'm narrating, there's a couple of Disney animated directors that I'm narrating a book. They have a movie that they want to pitch and they want an audio book first. So I'm doing all the characters, like I'm reading this book that's taking weeks to do. But now I've got an in in Hollywood, so I can pitch them on our Umbrella Man thing. Maybe an animated version. Perfect. 
Yeah. What if oh my was- gosh, if the oh, third so Umbrella cool. Man is a Hollywood film, like a Hollywood produced, like we're we're into it. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm making this happen. Yeah, we, it'll be like an American remake, but it'll be all the same people in it or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like, sorry, producers. Yeah, yeah. It's like, say, hey, we're back. It's like, what? <laughs> we thought we were getting uh, Harry Styles or so. I don't know. He's not American. But <laughs> oh, that's cool. So do you, are you going to, is John going to call you every day, the director, and be like, here's how it went at TIFF? You know, I've. Probably... I hope so. We do have a group going. So I'm hoping that he, like, keeps us up to date with how it's going. I know that I, I think our viewing is really early on Saturday yeah, morning. Um, and we're not in competition obviously we're just you know because we're a sequel so they've they just ah. invited us out, out of competition but i hope he keeps us yeah let me check glued. what time this premiere is uh inter uh saturday at 9 10 a.m at scotiabank wow i can make Very that I, I'm, that's fine i mean what what are we doing what am i doing up so late that i can't go out uh and see the movie and uh yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I've been uh, I've been yeah, hustling, no, yeah. hustling around for uh, places to stay in Toronto. I've got like a couch to crash on, so I can make it. Perfect. Yeah, awesome. and you'll really enjoy this one because you know the one thing about this film is that the girls take center fold of the of the film. So like you know the guys the guys get sent away and the girls are like the leaders and the planners of everything. So it's a very like female driven script, which is oh, a lot of fun. I like that. Yeah. yeah. And then, and you know, that's very woke. That's uh, it's the way things. So, uh, go. But people are all into. I mean, they're they're remaking Robin Hood here with a woman. Um, you know, the Hunger Games, all this women empowerment. That's that's a big thing. So that's a big selling point. Although, yeah, did you, yeah. Did you consider calling it like the Umbrella Women? Was that going to be the title for the sequel? Honestly, for a long time, it was supposed to be the Umbrella Women. Um, like up until like when like when we were shooting, I think we locked Escape from Robin Island, right, guys? Like with like, I think we were still like meeting in the beginning, and it was still Umbrella Woman, and then the producers and John just decided like because it's becoming like a brand, and if it does mm -hmm. turn into a franchise, like the Umbrella Men with it like a title would be better. So, but yeah, it was no. the Umbrella Woman for a long time. Yeah, yeah, I get, I can see, yeah, because it wouldn't really make sense. Now it's like, well, what's the third one? The you know, it's like, and then uh, it messes it up. The and Umbrella you know, People. The umbrella people exactly like you don't change the x-men name every time it's like yeah men is almost all encompassing i don't know whatever mm -hmm. but it's almost cooler that yeah. the umbrella men are women i don't know it's all good we'll figure you could always go back and retitle it later you know like indiana raiders of the lost art became indiana jones and the da da da, da. so yeah it can, it can be the umbrella men or the umbrella whatever and the escape from whatever island yeah that's so cool. Have they started? So yeah, I guess they don't even know. Well, they'll probably make a third one. We don't, you'll probably have shot it by the end of next week. You guys work fast. You know, we work fast in South Africa. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't screw around. I mean, like, I can't, I mean, it takes, how many years is it? To, I mean, it took them 20 years to make The Flash or something. And you guys are like, just on it. I love it. Well, to be fair, it took John 13, 14 years to make the first one. So he didn't want to wait around for the second one as long. So he just hopped on yeah. it straight away. Okay, that's it. Yeah, that's the thing. All the, you know, it just takes so much time to get these things made. And once you you know you can make a second one here, he probably had things in his head and, you know, he just sat down and written. Yeah, but by, by the time we were in Toronto, he already had had um, the idea of, of what the second one would be. And they were working on the script and we were going to go, we were going to shoot in December, actually. And then they postponed it because uh, of funding and normal stuff. And then we ended up shooting in April. So but the turnaround was really quick to get it done for Toronto, like insane. Wow. Yeah, that's true. There's pressure on because you want to get the big the big festival, and everything. So you can't be screwing around. Was yeah. the was the script like completely like did you improvise it all or was it like as scripted everything? We guys, we like the thing is, the, the, the foundation of the script was there, like the script was really good. But yeah. John. And like in his writing himself, he he like he leaves he leaves space for you to improvise because he knows that you know your characters, and so mm -hmm. um you know there's a foundation for sure. But he he allows you to play around with it and bring your own spice to it. And a lot of I mean I saw my my scenes for uh during ADR, and there were uh, like a lot of things that were just improvised on the spot that got put in. What about you guys? 
Yeah, I think you know? I think John I, did allow us freedom, but everything I think went went according to script, except I think maybe one or two scenes where it, it dragged on a bit. <laughs> And John said he had to actually cut out the improvisation because it was just, it was a lot of fun, but it was like, okay, this is unnecessary. And it's going over three hours now. So we're going to have to cut it down. So. All right. Well, yeah. you can but see that's, where, that's where the magic happens, you know, in yeah. those yeah. moments. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I was just watching a YouTube video yesterday, but you know, the top 20 unscripted Marvel Cinematic Universe moments and stuff. And it's like just little, little gems, little things, but you can also save your big uh, improv rant for like the DVD extras and be like, here's a deleted scene kind of thing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Right. The extended Those cut. Those were great. Why don't we do that anymore? I don't know. we don't have DVDs anymore. Oh yeah. That's it. But you can still release like the John cut, like this three hour epic kind of thing. Oh, true. Yeah. yeah, there were a few yeah. things that didn't make it, um, yeah. which was sad. Well, maybe we can use them, like when we're making our, our own movie, when I <laughs> show up, we, we can bring them in there. We can be like, hey, remember this scene and whatever. That's yeah. so cool. Yeah. So what, I can't what... wait to see it. I'm like waiting. Um, if John the other day was like, should, should do you want to see a screener? And I was like, no, I need to see it on the big screen. Like, But I'm wow. still like super... Like I'm waiting in anticipation to watch it. Yeah, yeah, okay. So yeah, you could see the screener, but you're just gonna wait till the premiere to watch it with the audience. Yeah. That'll be so exciting. Cause yeah, that's I always wonder when the stars have to sit there through their own movie that they've already seen. It's like, I wouldn't even want to do that. So you might as well watch it and enjoy it yourself. Yeah, although it, I like uh, the first time I saw the first movie, it was with an audience. And I'm telling you that was the most like nerve wracking thing ever. Uh -huh. Like watching it for the first time and not knowing what the movie's going to be or how it's going to turn out is so nerve wracking. But I feel like I'm a little bit more calmer with the second one that I'm like, it's going to be fine. That's good. You want to hear a stupid story? I made a short film a couple months ago in Ottawa and you had two months to make it, but I had nobody to help. So I shot it an hour before the deadline. And it was like this. It was like a webcam thing. And uh, and I used Riverside and I didn't actually have time to watch my edits. So I just submitted it. And then during the screening, it's all these web calls. And then in the middle, it's sort of out of sync and the sound is messed up. And it's because the stupid like recording thing didn't work. But everybody's like, oh, what a brilliant choice. Like Zoom calls go out of sync and stuff. That's so hilarious. I'm like, oh, so it <laughs> kind of worked. But it's, yeah, sometimes good to watch it before you show it in a theater. Yeah, I would think so. <laughs> Oh, but that gives me an idea. This could be, yeah, we could shoot things over Zoom. Yeah, we don't yeah. even have to. I don't even have to be in South Africa. Because the, the idea for my movie was, it, the theme was escape for the film festival. So I had the idea that I was kidnapped. I wake up in this furnace room and this killer that was just a towel on a hand. It was like a puppet. It's like, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to kill you, but I'll let you go if you can get any of your Facebook friends to like come and pick you up. So I, I video call on my Facebook friends and nobody wants to save me. They're like, I don't like you or we broke up or whatever. So I, I could shoot versions with you where you're, you're my South African friends, not saving me. Just oh, technology. look at technology. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't have to do anything. Well, that's cool. And then what, uh, cool. what are you busy doing now that the movie's out and everything? Are you working on other projects? Are you traveling around? Wasn't your movie premiered now now also, Shamila? Um, I've got a... Yeah, I've got my series that's, um, I'm not sure when the premiere is actually, but it's been like, they've put a lot of effort into the marketing. So I've got a Dion Meyer um, series called Devil's Peak that's about to drop. I'm think, I think it looks like it's going to be this month. I haven't seen any dates yet. And then I've got another film, Masinga, that's coming out towards the end of the year. And then, and then I've got one more feature, but I'm not sure if it's coming out this year or next year. I, I saw the, I know they're in final edit at the moment. So I'm not sure exactly when it's going to drop. But I'm not wow. working on anything at the moment. Like for the first awesome. time in so long, I'm like on holiday and like chilling at home. And I'm like, it's been, you know, a few weeks now. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what is life? So I'm currently not working on anything. I'm taking some time. Yeah, it sounds like you've been doing enough. You can just sort of think for a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. What, what, are, you you, what are you shooting, Keenan? Um, so I, I just finished another known associates film called Snake. We finished, we wrapped last week. Um, now fun employment and um, I guess marketing heading into the next two months for Umbrella Men. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, employment. 
Right? That's Enjoy awesome. Enjoy the break. Come back to Joburg. We can hang out. Yep. Sunday. And then next time. Oh, you come back. Oh, look it. How do you get there? Do you fly or do you drive? Like, drive. It's about oh yeah, so you can you can just drive over across the the country kind of thing. Yeah, yeah it takes about what fourteen hours, thirteen hours. Yeah. Fourteen. Oh, okay. I wouldn't. That's a long drive. Jesus. No, no, no. It's a two-hour flight. That's yeah. all you need to. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a big country. It looks small on the map, but I think it's just because the way the Earth curves or something. It's like like fourteen-hour yeah. drive. It's not. Be... It's, it's more. It's, I think it's it's sixteen. It's sixteen hours. Makes you drive yeah. slower. I've done the drive. It's horrible. It's it's like not interesting. <laughs> All right. Oh, yes. Long stretches of vastness. Nothing. I love it. Okay. 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 Yeah. So it's not like drive. You know, if I drive from Canada, Florida, it's like I can stop everywhere in little villages and see the president's old house or something. It's like, it's like no. craziness. Cool. It's All right. Enough. Like the Western Cape is interesting. Once you leave the Western Cape coming up to Joburg, it's just like dry and there's nothing, it's nothing ready to see. And then you get Croft Renette halfway and then there's nothing for eight hours after that. Okay. Yeah. So let's, uh... all right. Well, we'll take planes because I mean, you're big movie stars now and you don't want to, you know, get kidnapped in the desert or whatever happens. No. Cool. And what's uh yeah, just like last question, is there like an elevator pitch? Like if you were just running some by some of streets, like why do you want to see the Umbrella Men 2 kind of thing? Like what's what's the deal? Elevator pitch. Okay. I mean it's 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 an action-packed sequel. We've flipped the script a little bit with um, you know how the 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 guys are the leaders, now the women are the leaders, so we've flipped the script. There's lots of action. We're in the water. We're breaking into prisons. It's it's entertainment at its best. Excellent. They're women and they're soaking wet. That sounds like that's what yes. I took away from that. <laughs> <laughs> and they're rescuing guys from a prison. Okay, it's yeah. it's fun adventure, action, drama. It's got it all, and it's wow. and the women are leading it. So that's so cool. It's kind of like The Rock. I guess they have to break out of a prison or go into a prison or whatever that movie was, huh? I love it. That's huge. And Jack looked back at his kid. It's yeah. like, oh, are we having a dirty discussion? What's going on? <laughs> that's that's awesome. Well, okay, thanks, guys. I will miss you at TIFF, but I'll uh, I'll tell John uh, he's got to start bringing you with him next time. And uh, uh, we yeah. still want the drawing, Josh. I okay. Yeah, no, I sat here. I was like, oh, am I supposed to draw them again? And I had my yes. thing here, and I was going to do. Oh, a yeah. of course you must. Uh, we'll, we'll accept we'll ex John will accept it on our behalf okay all right yeah I yeah. could I could do it really fast here but you know what no, I'm, no, that's that, that's a better idea I'll bring it to John and I'll I'll give him a bigger one and then uh yeah we yeah we okay look at the hair there all right well yeah this is what just signed up for that's yeah this I know that's look at him he's all right. just he's on the side Josh it's uh Jacques birthday today so maybe you wanna oh my gosh oh all my right. gosh You'll get, you'll get. So maybe you want to inspire yeah. your cake. drawing. I need cake in my drawing, John. Yeah. So all right. There, uh, this is to remind me to put the cake in your drawing. <laughs> and, you uh, oh my gosh, this is exciting. Yeah. I guess. Am I supposed to? What's today? Tuesday? Wednesday? Tuesday? Yeah. So I'll see John Tuesday. in two days. So it, you're, wow. it'll still be a fresh, fresh cake for you. That'll be exciting. All right. <laughs> so. And actually, I'm going to go around telling everybody you got to see this movie. I'm going to be pumping it up in Toronto. So we'll get, we'll get your Yay. premiere packed. Thank, Thank you. Yeah, thanks so much. Take pictures for us. I will. Okay, here take your umbrella. To... Yeah. Oh, that's right. I'll take the umbrella and I'll take a screenshot of this right now, so I can be like, "Hey, what's yeah. up?" Excellent. You have responsibilities now. I know. I feel like I'm on the marketing team. I'm. There's a lot of pressure here. <laughs> <laughs> if the if the third one doesn't get made, it's like, oh, Josh, you screwed up." I'm like, oh, this is how you get into the third one, Josh. You got to prove yourself. That's right. All right, I'm going to start telling people, yeah, there's got to be a third one. I'm playing the villain. I'll just start planning. They'll be like, are you? And I'll be on set. And they're like, did we cast this guy? I guess we did. <laughs> well, so. All right, yeah. That, and I could work on my South African accent, but no, I'm the Canadian accent. That's what makes it international and stuff. It's all right. Yeah. 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 All right, all right. Cool. We'll have fun with uh, the rest of your pressing. And uh, we'll uh, talk. I'll let you know how the movie is. Because I'm ahead of you. So <laughs> Thanks, Josh. Yeah. Awesome. Enjoy it. Okay, bye.